walking out on him 20 years ago. He's not that sort. Well, he probably just panicked at the last moment. You were taking a gamble. It didn't work out. I'll make him very sorry. Oh, you know you don't mean that. Oh, Charlie. I loved him so much. <laughs> You don't reckon I'd let you go without saying goodbye, do you? Well, the others are in the kitchen. Come on through. Uh, no, it's OK. I still don't feel too relaxed around people. But Beryl said you sorted things out with you. Yeah, but yeah, I just wanted to see you. I won't be here when you get back. Well, why not? I was thinking maybe a change would do me good. Beryl was telling me about her brother. He's just finished working up in the north of WA, the mining areas. He reckons there's plenty of work up there. And after what's happened, I'd like to be on my own for a while around people who don't know about it. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry I got so angry over the funeral. It was none uh, of my business. Geez, I carried on like an idiot. And no one blamed you. Yeah. I'll be going later in the week. Tell the others I'll see them before I head off. Oh, please come in. Just muck up your night. Well, I'm gonna miss you. So you. <laughs> you know, maybe if... <laughs> <laughs> Look after yourself. You too. It's getting cold out there. I hope she's all right. Her sort always is. There's no need for that. Charlie hasn't found her. We should get help in. She could have fallen from a horse. <laughs> Probably off somewhere feeling sorry for herself. Sometimes you take it too far, Rosie. Well, you wouldn't blame me if you knew what she'd been up to. I don't like telling you, but... Well, I don't reckon she should get away with it. Her and that... David Palmer, they've... They've been having an affair. That's a pretty serious accusation. I didn't come down in the last shower. I can put two and two together as well as the next person. Have you got proof? Oh, you should have seen her following him around, even working with him, coming back all hours of the night, always making excuses to get me out of the place when he came over. That is not what I meant by proof. OK. Tell me why his wife turned up, then left almost straight away. Why was she upset last night? I'll tell you why. Because he went back to Melbourne. She tried to get him to stay on. You ask Mel. She tried to get him to do a special job and stay on. It's all speculation. You weren't here, Gordon. You didn't see them. Oh, the way they looked at each other sometimes. Now that's enough. You don't like Patricia. I think it's affected the way you've seen things. I suppose you'd... You'd have to say that. Well, I've told you what I know. That's all I can do. It's true, though. You look so cheerful about it, darling. I'd like to speak to Patricia privately, please. You've been crying. Rosie thinks you've been having an affair with David Palmer. She's right, isn't she? Is she? I think so. Everything adds up. You believe her gossip, do you? It's not only that. What she said got me thinking. The way you were so keen for John to come down to the auction. The sudden notification of divorce proceedings. The uncharacteristic interest in Mumbai. I told you, I changed my mind about that. Why? Because David lost interest and went back to Melbourne. All right. 
We had an affair, and it was wonderful. It made me realize that I should have done it years ago, so if you expect me to be sorry, you can damn well think again! I want you out of here first thing in the morning. I'll take over until Wayne and Jill arrive. Fine by me. Australia's Rachel Griffiths leads one of the greatest casts ever in... You're supposed to be at Wombo working your socks off. Oh, just give me a chance to catch my breath. You're not back because of Angela, are you? What? What do you mean? Well, she's come up for a few weeks' holiday. Jill's gone to the airport to pick her up. You didn't know? No. Well, I'd better go upstairs and pack. I couldn't stand a scene with her on top of everything else. What's happened? I think he's got a right to know. Mother? I'm afraid your father is getting a bit nasty about the divorce. We had an argument at Mumbai. He threw me out and told me I wasn't to stay here either. Why? Oh... A lot of things came to a head. I don't think he thought I'd go through with it. And when he realized that I was, he took a very hard line. Well, you're not going to let him get away with it, are you? <laughs> what choice do I have? He wasn't in any mood to be reasoned with. The place is half yours. You've got a legal right to stay. I don't want to make him any angrier. And there's Angela and John. They're very fond of your father. If I start becoming too aggressive, they're likely to take his side. Quite frankly, I'm surprised you haven't. I've been on the receiving end too, remember? I know you can be pretty unreasonable sometimes. Thanks. Look, why don't you stay? You'll have to be at Wombai now that you're not there. Certainly for the next few days till I arrive. It's stupid neither of you using the place. I'll think about it. I'm just going upstairs to freshen up. I'll talk to Wayne. It, um... Had nothing to do with me. I didn't say a word. Oh, I just remember the last time I was here. I was the world's worst. I want Mother to stay here. Help me talk her into it. Oh, it's your father who's the problem. Maybe I should give him a ring. No, don't. That's one thing Patricia is sure of. She doesn't want anyone else getting mixed up in it. If you really want to do something, keep on being as nice as you were then. Right now, she feels she's lost virtually everything she ever wanted. I think it would help. She doesn't need anyone else making problems for her. You sure you don't mind making the detour? Oh, sh will you shut up? I know you want to see John. John? I'm here to see Gemma. My horse. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you been getting out here much? Not really. I thought you would have been converted by now. You have to do a fair bit of riding at Umba. Well, I'm trying to put that off for as long as possible. <laughs> Hello, Miss Hamilton. You're back. Certainly am. How's Gemma? Same stall. She's looking good, too. Where's John? Even I'm at a workout in the far paddock. One of the new horses for Wombai. Oh, right. Well, look, I think I might ride Gemma over and see him. Could you please settle her up for me, Joe? No worries. He'll be surprised. That's the general idea. Mm. Would you like me to wait? Oh, no, thanks anyway, but uh, I'll get John to give me a lift home. Oh, it's good to see you. It really is. <laughs> you too. You don't mind about me and Wayne, do you? Of course not. I just hope he's changed for your sake. I think so. Good. Well, uh, I'll see you back at the house. Looking great. Melbourne must agree with you. Oh, it does. <laughs> Hope you don't mind me coming. Uh, of course not. It's great to see you. <laughs> Did you hear about Stevie's death? Yeah. Pretty rough on Mick. Yeah, he's taken it pretty hard, too. Anyway, he decided to go away, so he's gone looking for work in WA. Well, how do you feel about that? Me? I thought there was something going on between you two. Well, we tried, sort of. <laughs> Didn't work. Anyway, I got fairly depressed after Stevie's death. That's why I wanted to take the break. How about you? You found anyone yet? Oh, I'm not sure yet. 
Oh, I have met someone. She's nice. I've only taken her out a couple of times so far. That's good. I'd like to meet her. Don't worry. She's a bit pushy. She'll make sure you do. Well, I'll be finishing in half an hour. You in a hurry? No. Why don't you have a ride around? Meet me in the office and I'll give you a lift home. All right. You've got a heap of catching up to do. <laughs> Are you sure you'll be all right? Of course I will. Charlie's suffered through the worst of it. She'll slap me into line if I start getting maudlin. You'd better believe it. I promised Jill I'd help her go through her things. She's packing up the bedsit. You've cheered me up enough already, and I'm very grateful. Got him. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't even think to ask. How's the walking going? Oh, uh, getting better. I'm still not meant to overdo it for a while, though. Can't wait to be out of this thing for good. How long will it take? A month or so. Like the doctor said, we don't want to be too impatient, do we? <laughs> Good to see you haven't changed too much. Ah, oh, who sent you the flowers? They're lovely. They're for Angela from Gordon. Well, that was nice of him. Are we ready? Yep. I won't be too late. Well, whenever. See you later, Jill. Bye. Bye, Charlie. Welcome back, darling. Sorry I can't be there. Tied up unexpectedly at Mumbai. Love, Daddy. At least he's keeping up a front for her. He would have wanted to send them anyway. Nothing I could do would change his feelings for her. You trust him not to say anything? Hmm. Oh, he'd never hurt Angie to get back at me. What about John? I don't think so. Mind you, if you'd gone ahead with your plan for David, I don't think either of them would have approved. I was prepared to risk it to keep him. Now, though, oh, what a mess it'd be. No husband, no lover, no children, I'd say, if they found out. You're coming home with me. No, oh, I don't care what Gordon says. I'm staying here. Of course you are. But right now, I think a stiff gin at my place is going to do you a lot more good than sitting round here waiting for Angela and John to arrive. You're a good friend, aren't you? <laughs> Hope you say that when you get the bill. Hello. John Palmer around? Uh, no, but he should be here in a few minutes. Oh, good. I'm stabling a couple of my horses here. I just want to check out the facilities, make sure they're as good as they say. Well, why wouldn't they be? Well, there's no harm in checking. Who are you? Angela Hamilton. My father owns the stud. Oh, you're the sister, are you? Oh, John told me all about you. I think the whole story is wildly romantic. God, what I wouldn't do to trade my father in on a new model. I'm Prue Armstrong. Oh, of course, you were engaged to Simon, weren't you? Don't blame me for dumping him. He is a pain in the neck. But don't tell Aunty Barb I said that. What are you doing here? I was going to pick you up later. I couldn't wait. Me too, Matt? Oh, you're way behind. We introduced ourselves. Good. You ready? Yeah, sure. Oh, you don't mind waiting an extra ten minutes, do you? You said you'd show me around. Well, that's why I came out. I want to see where you'll put Dandy and Sand again. I hate to do it to your ego, but it really is business. You don't mind, do you? No, oh, of course not. Business is business. It's a big night out with the youngies, and her night's about to take a surprising twist. The hilarious new drama, Life Begins. Gordon Hamilton. Daddy? Hello, darling. Have a good flight? Oh, not bad. Thanks for the flowers. They're beautiful. Next best thing to a kiss. When are you coming back? Well, I'm staying up here for a while. Uh, have you spoken to your mother? No, I thought she was staying down there with you. She's staying with Charlie. I'm sure she'll be in touch. We've uh, decided to go through with the divorce, Angela. I thought it best to stay up here, look after Wombai until Wayne's ready to take over. I bet it was all her fault. Well, it's one of those things that have been coming on for a long time. Can you get up here to stay? I'd love to see you. Oh, well, I want to spend some time with John, but maybe after that, OK? All right, darling. Keep in touch, won't you? <laughs> you know I will. And thanks again. Bye. Bye. Angela, was it? 
I can't say I approve your reasons for telling me about Patricia. But well, I'm not being angry with you, Rosie. I just want to get things straight. What happened is between Patricia and me. I'm not telling anyone. In fact, I promised her I won't. So if you say anything, you can start packing your bags straight away. Is that clear? I don't know why you're protecting her. That's none of your business. Pour yourself a drink, Rosie. You can do with the company. Hello, darling. Lovely to see you. I thought you were staying somewhere else. Hey, you've been talking to your father. How come he's still here? Wayne insisted I should stay. Oh, that figures. Anyway, I'm going to be spending most of my time with John, so with a bit of luck, we won't have to see much of each other. Next in the morning news, a shark attack at Bell's Beach in a... Great. <laughs> oh, they're there to be eaten. Improving, aren't they? Sure are. You'll get podgy if you don't watch it. I don't like fat men. Better not risk it, eh? <laughs> do you always get your own way, Prue? Uh, nearly always. Makes life a lot easier when I do. For whom? Me, of course. Now finished. Almost. I even think the kitchen sink's in there somewhere. <laughs> but you're glad to be moving out. Oh, not really. I'm going to miss it. I can't see why. Look pretty small and pokey from the outside. I'd be glad to get away. Everyone's not the same. True. You'll change your mind once you're living at Wombay, though. All that open space. I doubt it. Um, Wayne, you put in an order for a drink about an hour ago. What'll it be? Oh, beer, thanks, Fiona. Good. Um, Jill, uh, would you like to give me a hand there? Okay. I'm right, you know. She will change her mind. Who does she think she is? A little rich girl who's used to getting her own way. Calm down. She's not being obnoxious on purpose. It comes naturally. Well, that doesn't make it any better. I can't understand why John's interested in her. Well, I don't think he's got past the face and the body yet. You know, it makes a difference with a red-blooded male. Yeah, that's the problem with men. They're stupid. <laughs> you try telling Wayne that. I just hope he doesn't let her get her own way too much. I don't think she'd be terribly good for him if he did. Just like old times there, eh, Rosie. Before things got complicated. Mm. All we need is young Wayne here and things will be back to normal. Well, you won't have long to wait. Is he going to be able to manage Gordon? He'll be fine. He's improved out of sight in the last few weeks. And he's going to have Jill to help him. Jill? Hmm, Jill Taylor. They've been going out together for some time now. She's going to be staying up here. Is she the young lass that came here once with Fiona Thompson? Hmm. They're very close. Oh. Oh, it'll be good to have someone nice staying here for a change. <laughs> How long is she going to be here? Well, she's not visiting. She'll be staying here permanently. You don't tell me young Wayne's gone and got himself engaged. <laughs> well, not exactly. Although they are very close. Well, let's just hope something comes of it. It'd be lovely to see him settle down. Hmm. What room will I put her in? Well, I think she'd want to stay in Wayne's room. Oh, no, I couldn't do that. Wouldn't be right to turf him out of his own room. Well, I don't think Wayne would mind her being there. That's because he's a gentleman. No, he's got to have his own room, and that's final. Well, I'm sure whatever you decide will be fine by him. Thanks for the lift. My pleasure. Are you sure you don't want a cup of coffee or something before you uh, go? No, thanks. I had gallons of it at Fiona's. Or something sounds fine, though. Hmm. I'm glad you liked Aunt Fiona. She's not what I expected. When you said Aunt Fiona, I imagined some little grey-haired old lady. <laughs> I don't think she'll ever be that. I think she saw right through you. Oh, you do, do you? Mm-hmm. And uh, how about the nephew? Oh, he saw through you too. <laughs> <laughs> Love is very strange, it can come. 
If you were stupid enough to tell Customs you were smuggling a bomb, what do you think would happen? Find out when Customs face a very explosive situation on Border Patrol NZ tonight at 7.30. Then a devastating situation on the new series of SCU Serious Crash Unit at 8 o'clock on 7. Next, the latest 7 Morning News.